Now, if we look back at the Garden of Eden, the ploy of Satan, he needed to induce what was the spiritual property of God to enter into his artifice. Very simple. Satan hasn't changed anything in his agenda since. He's done it again, and he's deceived many to enter something into a legal system that he operates under his legal kingdoms that he even offered to Christ when he was on his 40-day in the wilderness journey before his execution. And he actually uh, tried to even induce the Son of God to do one act of worship to him. So the minute that you place your God-given consent and title and name into the public registry, which we already have noted in a previous video, is noted as and defined as in Roman civil law, in sin you are. When you've entered that in there, you're now touching the unclean thing, the dead body corpus. So the only, how could you possibly capture that without still being dirty in there, even in the concept. You would have to be inside it. We're trying to get out, remove ourselves, come out, be separate. So you, when you're acting in that system with your consent, you can't cry out mistake because mistake basically doesn't happen when there's consent to be in the mistaken identity. So, let's get past that we've been duped, we've been beguiled, nothing new under the sun, happened with Eve, it's worked, it's all its way, right through, and he's got craftier, Satan is craftier than he's ever been, because he's had a lot of time to practice his craft. And so, uh, when, you're, um, when you're in a system that's legal, you have to be acting as a surety and he needs someone to host the event. So he needs a private individual to allow the assignment of the government legal title onto the private side. It won't work any other way. On its own, it can't harm anybody. It's only when it touches. So, it, you know, again, we may have thought we landed on sticky five feet, but in reality, we really haven't always had the power to remove what is private out of the public registry. You're smarting for your own injury because you're actually impersonating the title by taking a private claim to it. That's how you make the impersonation. It's a legal impersonation at that point. Without your private name in there, it just won't work. So. If we can get our head wrapped around that, the world of spiritual is not legal. Just because there's churches out there involved in the legal system, they've been deceived and they're deceiving you if you're a member of them. So we have to get out of there and be separate and separate being private is not public. So if you haven't gone over all the videos, go back. There's enough data in those videos, enough research to get you out of this. I think to an extent, some people are having a hard time with it, mainly because of the fact is that they're still thinking in the legal system. So legal is not law and it's not spiritual. It's man's world. It has nothing to do with God. God allows it, but its time is very short right now. So the only problem that's happening is you're injuring yourself by your own consent to not remove what is God-given, paid for by Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, out of there. He died for everybody, so it doesn't matter who they are or what background they are. When they do what we're about to do, they would have to be going down the spiritual 
true position. And there is only one sovereignty outside of man's sovereignty, and that's God's. And no, you're not a sovereign, so get that out of your vocabulary. Ridiculous concept. We have a sovereign. We're not sovereigns. Okay, we have a sovereign authority. You're not going to outwit in the legal. They have their sovereignty, and God allowed that to exist for that jurisdiction. And then there's the sovereignty of, of what is spiritual for God's people, and he has his son as the king. So you're never going to escape sovereignty. Only ego will deceive you into that. So be aware, you're always going to have something above you. No matter which side you're choosing, there's always going to be some authority over you. If you can choose spiritual, I think I'd rather have God and his son, his anointed son as my authority over me than having men is what we see the chaos going on right now. You can make your choice too.